Well, welcome to the Rokani Media Football and we are here to obviously bring you the latest news and information as far as your favorite football clubs are concerned and this is the channel that brings you your latest news and information about your faves and uh, we are here to talk about Thomas Partey injury blow looks like this international break very many Arsenal players are not going to represent for their national teams and it might be a blessing this guys for the club of Arsenal that these players obviously get ahead on to really prepare for the return of the hectic next <clears throat> i think two three weeks before they obviously get back to what we call the international breaks so much like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a day remember <clears throat> we are powered by Muno gadgets and you know what Muno gadgets are all about Muno gadgets are all about phones brand new phones and brand new laptops that are really available from all corners of the world they also deal in what we call used phones and used laptops and they get them from the united kingdom so if i told you're really interested go ahead and obviously call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five and you'll thank me later right now <clears throat> there is something that we want i really want you guys obviously help us we're having a new partner in here for you and he deals in dental care and him dealing in dental care he does a lot now he's one of those that has gone ahead to be nominated and um everyone who is really watching this video first go into the lower into the description box there is a link there follow it click it up click on it after clicking on it go ahead and vote i want to see by the end of today how many votes are we going to be having you know i want to test the power of you the viewers so go into the description box below follow that link then after following that link you'll see you'll click vote and you'll obviously vote with your google account and then the rest will be okay the link is 100 percent safe i cannot really subject your your account to being um hacked or what the link is 100 percent safe so my people where should we start from let's start from thomas party now arsenal had some bad news that we're here to excite by the way some of the people at arsenal especially the fans there because <clears throat> Um, Kai Havertz, what, their targets man, who is really having four goals in seven Premier League games, and I think one or two assists in there for you. One goal in the Champions League and one goal in the Carabao Cup, taking his tally to seven this season, right? Getting out of the Germany national team. And I, I, I saw my brother known as Soz, um, he's known as Sozi, right, from Dubai. He was like, Rokani, are you for real? Are you for real that this guy is really going to be back? I told him that. Arsenal shouldn't even get threatened about that because they really have a better squad that can obviously offer them the best that they really deserve in for that player to obviously come out and really thrive and really give them the best without uh, Kai Havertz because Arsenal really has a very beautiful squad and this is where you understand why Arsenal brought the likes of Raheem Sterling, the Trossard, the really in here and very many others, the Waneris, you know they can come with and obviously raise the band, take it to the next level. Now, as things stand, the club of Arsenal <coughs> is really having another problem and guess what another important player for arsenal is on the sick bed and he goes by the names of thomas Partey. and who went ahead to break the story it was charles watts he told us that <coughs> thomas Partey will remain in london with arsenal over the upcoming international break the 31 year old has played every game for arsenal so far this season which is the longest run of consecutive games he's ever played for the club at the beginning of the season party is suffering from illness and will rest over the next week as a precaution so thomas party has been ruled out of the international break and even the national team of ghana the black stars went ahead to obviously put out a statement via their website and the statement they put out read as follows that Thomas Partey is unable to join Black Stars due to medical issues he's currently experiencing and his club has scheduled him for further testing in the coming days. Now, I think we should give uh, Thomas Partey a big round of applause. Why am I giving him a huge round of applause? It's because the player has been here for some time. You get and ever since he joined Arsenal in 2020, we've all gone ahead to prove that he's one of the best CDMs in the Premier League. No one doubts it because 
he really has the quality, the physicality, and every attribute that you would want your CDM to have in the Premier League. Thomas Partey really has it. And he really went ahead, obviously, add on some four or five goals per season in there. But the most bad bit of it all has been his inconsistency. That is it. Partey has been inconsistent in his career, and that has gone ahead, obviously, stop him from obviously winning lots and lots and lots of um lots and lots of cups for the club of arsenal because sometimes you feel like if Pate would be there at the club of arsenal <clears throat> i think in the season of 2022 2023 2023 2024 they might have gone ahead obviously find themselves really closing down on either a champions league or a premier league but his absentia because of injury Injuries has gone ahead to obviously affect his career at Arsenal. But this season, I've always gone ahead to hail him because he has gone ahead to play seven games of Arsenal in the Premier League and he has gone ahead to obviously start all those games. And I tell you what, he has averaged close to 80 minutes in every game. He has started the two Champions League games, meaning that he has played nine games and he hadn't gone ahead to obviously get injured. And I think if at all he has gone ahead to feel like he's uncomfortable in one of his body parts, I think he rather pulls out of the interna of the national of the national team than really losing out on Arsenal because when he is in his last year of Arsenal he believes that they are the favorites and some people are really saying City are the favorites but I tell you <clears throat> Arsenal are the favorites this season however much they haven't gone ahead to win, to win the league in two decades plus I think this time around they have all what it takes to obviously get the trophy and deliver it to their fans at the Emirates. Now, for Thomas Partey in particular, <clears throat> he's like, for Ghana, my team can go through and play in the African Cup of Nations because of the quality they're really having. That is it. But Arsenal, this is a one in lifetime moment. You know, he has to obviously see himself lift a big trophy for the club of Arsenal and to fight for that contract. If you ask Thomas Partey that, would you like to leave Arsenal? He'll be like, I don't want to leave Arsenal. I want to be here for some time. I think that's, that's what is really going to be his answer for real. But will Arsenal offer him a new contract? I saw a story last time talking about the contract that I'm really going to try, obviously, come up and obviously broadcast to you here onto this channel about Thomas Partey. Now, as things are really going on and rolling, Thomas Partey is going to have to make a brilliant decision. Let me stay at London. Let me obviously stay under these physios and i know they'll obviously get us the best that we deserve or that they deserve in there as the side of as the side of arsenal i tell you so the physios at arsenal are really doing a very beautiful job on thomas Partey, and i think these two weeks are not really gonna be wasted he's really gonna benefit a lot from them and he's really gonna come up and obviously say all right this is the moment that we've all gonna hate to be waiting in for and we are really gonna be getting to where we deserve to be so thomas party for me is out but i don't think that it's a serious injury but you know how arsenal does its things it's a club that will never come out and really tell you that the injury is really that serious you get they'll never tell you that the club sorry that that is really the injury is that serious you understand you know, and even those injuries that have gone ahead obviously come out and surface into the media that players are really gonna stay out for long. Players have proven that they can obviously come back um ahead of schedule. For example, Mikel Merido. We all knew to it that Mikel Merino was supposed to return after this international break, you know, that is around nineteenth and twentieth of this month. But surprisingly, he made his debut when Arsenal is gonna be playing PSG and he played also in the game of Southampton where Arsenal beat them by three. Goals to one. <clears throat> the same applies to Martin Odegaard. You know, people are like, he's going to be returning in November. But after this international break, we might see him really return and really play for the club of Arsenal as videos have gone ahead to surface when he's really trying to work hard and work on his fitness to obviously make himself available when Arsenal is really playing against Bournemouth, Liverpool, and Chelsea. So it's really going to be something huge in there for the club of Arsenal. And I really believe that a lot is really going to go their way. So for me, Thomas Partey is going to have to make a very good decision to obviously stay at Arsenal because at Arsenal, he knows that he is really replaceable. At Ghana, he's replaceable. You cannot tell me that there is a player on that team that plays like Ghana 
and if you are asked if you are Thomas Pate and you're weighing in which side should I obviously give more time I think it's Arsenal yet and Arsenal have gone ahead to reach that moment of harvesting a title either in the Premier League or Champions League and Pate has to be integral he wants to be part of history even if they don't give him a new contract he wants to be part of history that I was part of that team of Arsenal that went ahead to win the first Premier League game, for the first Premier League title since 20, since 2003, 2004, where Arsenal are the Invisibles, and they've never gone ahead, obviously, win any, and it will be two decades, you know, and that drought, trophy drought, will end of the Premier League. So for me, I feel okay for him, and he is really that kind of player that worries you when he really gets injured because it might be the start of the usual Thomas Party movie that we've always gone ahead to watch because for Thomas Party we just get surprised when he doesn't get injured easily like he has gone ahead to play nine games this season and he has obviously happened to keep himself fit for two months remember the league started around the 17th I think it was the 17th of um It was on the 17th of um, August. When you count 17th of um, when you count 17th of um, 17th September one, and obviously 17th, obviously he has gone ahead to spend two months. And remember, he really played the preseason and was really fit. So ever since the preseason, Thomas Pate was that good. And I tell you what, he's really looking. Uh, like he's really gonna return in a nick of time. So Thomas Pate will be returning for the club of Arsenal and um, What are the games that he's really gonna be coming up to obviously feature up for the club of Arsenal? If at all he doesn't really feature what games is he expected to miss? Arsenal versus Bournemouth 19th October Arsenal versus Shakhtar Donetsk 22nd October Arsenal versus Liverpool 27th October Arsenal versus Preston North End, 30th October. You know, for that, he won't play. He won't play for that one, even if he'll be available, because the Merinos, uh, the Jorginhos, the Declan Rice will obviously take the mantle to play. And if at all, Martin Odegaard will be back. I think those will be some of the games where he will obviously start to test his fitnesses. Then Arsenal will play Newcastle, then Chelsea, you know, before you go back to the to another international break. So the Premier League games that Arsenal said to play, Bournemouth, Liverpool, Newcastle, and Chelsea, another hectic fixture for the club of Arsenal. Remember, they played Man City, Aston Villa, and um, Liverpool, uh, Man City, Aston Villa, and Tottenham Hotspur. But now, it's another trio of games that are really consecutive that Arsenal needs to obviously rise up and really show us exactly what they are good at. Whether they are really that good to obviously come up and obviously put in the record shift all together. So... That's what you've gone ahead, obviously, getting from Thomas Parte and his injury. But let's go to Ange Potsakeglu. You know, before we obviously call it a day, let's obviously do something concerning Ange Potsakeglu. Now, Ange Potsakeglu has gone ahead, obviously, come up and obviously put in the following. You know, <clears throat> after Spurs went ahead, obviously, lose, you know, lose their lead to Brighton, and they went ahead, obviously, lose all the three points. Ange Potsakeglu was the most furious man on planet Earth. And for the very first time, I heard him say the following, that this was the worst defeat since I've signed for Spurs. I'm frustrated and absolutely gutted with that. The second half was unacceptable. We kind of accepted our fate. And it's hard to understand as we've not done what? As we've not, go, as, as we've not done that while I've been here. So he's really right because you can't really take a lead. You know, sometimes... Even the manager is to blame. However much the manager is blaming players, but he's also to blame. Because, one, the manager had to obviously issue them orders that let's lay back a little bit. Because Spurs can really defend. But I don't really believe in a manager who goes ahead to obviously lead the game by two goals to nil. And then attacks a team like he really wants to really score a goal. Or like he hasn't gone ahead to score one. You know, I think if you are two goals up and you're really playing away from home. I think it's better to pay respect to your opponents. And it's something that Eric Ten Hag also did when on FC Porto. In 20 minutes, United were two goals up, and Ten Hag kept telling his team, let's go attack and attack and attack and attack. And in the new course, 
before half time the game was back to level terms and you don't want to obviously see your team really looking that way i tell you you wouldn't like to see your team looking that way but all in all i would love to let you know that uh Ange is really very very frustrated but even his players you know the way they really gave away those goals i think their defending was their defending was poor and i think they needed a better tactical plan and i don't really agree with those manager like Angie Pasakego leading a game by two goals and you're like let me attack the team left right, left right and center i don't really believe in that and i'm that kind of person who will oppose it any day <clears throat> any night you understand so let's wait and see how that pans out but it's really something important for you to note that thomas Partey is really injured and what do you make about it and Ange Potsekegul has also gone ahead and obviously said he's furious at his players for obviously surrendering their 2-0 lead to Brighton and it ended into a draw sorry a loss to the side of Spurs and a win to the side of Brighton so guys I sign out for now see you later first video of the day and more is yet to come onto this channel we love you guys and see you when you see me guys and it has been nice talking to you once again, but do the needful and subscribe to this channel because we want to hit 30,000 subscribers. Bye-bye.